Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Parents of children with mild disabilities have been advised to take advantage of inclusive education and send their wards to school. Tonight on Mission, we put the spotlight on four-year-old in Manuel Kwanza who cannot talk but has joined regular pupils of the Medina Basic School for Quality Education. We first met Emmanuel Kwanza at the Medina SDA Basic School. Emmanuel cannot talk. Instead of sending him to a special school, his parents decided to try inclusive education. Inclusive education is an approach or a process which occurs when children with and without disabilities learn together in the same classroom, interact socially with each other within the regular school setting. What are you doing? Emmanuel started school at age two and his teachers have devised ways to help him learn and he's able to interact with his classmates even though he's unable to talk to them clearly. Through inclusive education, he's able to watch what his friends do and catches up with them in class. He came here when he was two and a half years. He couldn't talk. He can't make any sounds. But since we admitted him here, he has started making sounds. When you talk, he looks at your mouth, look at the sound that you are making, the shape of your mouth, and then act according to what he sees. The parent had sent him to a special school anywhere. This development that we've seen might not have been. The policy is very good. And unfortunately, the support system is what we need now. Like uh, we look at uh, some people, in my condition, like after clinical examination, he may need a hearing aid to help him. So if government can provide hearing aid, it's not going to be redundant for anybody who is going to be miss the mainstream. So the hearing aid will be very good, like assistive devices. We need the uh, optical lenses, hearing aids, speech therapists will be added to our uh, system so that when they can help, like man, he needs a speech therapist to help him speak well. His teachers and parents are impressed with his progress. Since joining mainstream school, my son has improved. He can now say mama and dada and sometimes ABCs. He'll be a great person in future. The children are aware that uh, he has that uh, special needs, but they mingle with him freely. Nobody victimizes him for anything. They play together, eat together, do everything together. Everybody has uh, special capabilities God endows us with. So they should bring them out. There might be a help somewhere for us human gods. I think their children can also get help. We are hoping that uh, more special education teachers will train Try to be a general something, not that some people are specifically trained for that job. That everybody, every teacher should have basic knowledge in special education so that at any stage they can support such children to cope with the mainstream learning system. They are hopeful through inclusive education, Emmanuel will continue to make progress with education and hopefully be able to speak someday. Ghana in 2016 launched a national inclusive education policy framework to address the educational challenges encountered by children with special needs. The policy framework stipulates how children with special needs should be handled for them to realize their full potential. Poshigabo, TV3 News, Medina, Accra. And that's that for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for your time, Alfred.